They have our country's name in their moniker, but we have a love-hate relationship with Canada geese, and this is why. They nest in the city. They can become very aggressive living alongside humans. Look at this poor guy. I mean, it's, the, the goose isn't giving up. Uh, the birds are becoming a real problem for cities, causing researchers to look at ways to try and perhaps slow their breeding. Joining us this morning is urban biodiversity planner Jennifer Ray Pierce. Good morning to you. Good morning, Anne-Marie. Listen, you know, people laugh. It looks funny when there's a goose coming at them, but some of those uh, Canada geese, they can be like 14 pounds and aggressive. <laughs> oh, I may have lost the sound. Okay. Sorry. Can you hear me now, Jennifer? Can you ask that again? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, let's talk first of all about the mess that, that the Canada geese can make. They can poop up to once every 12 minutes. That's a lot of waste, two pounds of waste every day. What other problems are cities facing as birds migrate back up to Canada for the spring? Well, so the main problem is actually not the migrating geese, it's the resident geese that don't have a behavior of migrating. And it's the same species, it's just a different behavioral pattern. So the geese that do not migrate and stay in one place have larger impacts on the ecosystem because they're not behaving the way that um, they were evolved to behave. So this means that their grazing patterns have a higher impact and also the um, the feces or when they're pooping on the, on the ground, um, they're not moving around as much. And we see this problem more often in this time of year because this is the time when the goslings have had hatched and are walking about and the adults at the same time are molting. So this means that uh, the geese are less able to fly and they're congregating in larger numbers together as uh, certain geese pairings will look out for a large group of goslings at one time. So the impacts then are concentrated in areas that lend themselves to the raising of uh, young goslings. It's hard to imagine now when I feel like they're on almost every boulevard in the city, but Canada geese nearly disappeared from southern Ontario about 60 years ago. That's according to Environment uh, and Climate Change Canada. Why is it now that they're settling in cities in sar such large numbers? So back when the numbers were so low uh, was when introductions were made into the cities uh, purposefully to help uh, the populations to rebound. Uh, and this is why we have these populations now that don't migrate uh, because they weren't ever taught to migrate during the, the reintroduction. Um, so that's actually part of the reason why we now are having to deal with um, higher populations in cities. So without having predators in place and other um, natural methods of population control, those populations are just growing exponentially. They find that cities are incredible places of habitat for them with abundant food, uh, very few predators. And so it's just the perfect place for uh, a population increase. And this is why um, managerial systems are needed to keep those populations from um, exponential increase. I love I love some of this video that we're sharing, that last one of, you know, there's a goose on somebody's patio and just beyond the patio, there's a there's a pond with some bushes, but it prefers this pot on the patio. There are about four and a half million Canada geese in this country and their population is not slowing down. And some cities have chosen very different methods when it comes to dealing with the birds. Can you lay out some of those for us? Sure. So the most common is to um, handle the population at the point of the egg, um, which usually involves egg addling or some other system of making the eggs non-viable. In other words, uh, killing the very, very young um, gosling before it hatches. Um, there are other methods that include um, just keeping the geese away from areas where you don't want them. Um, and one of the most effective is actually habitat modification such that the geese find a particular area less um, attractive for them to be. And this is can be quite simple, um, just involving things such as providing shrubbery or low um, vegetation around water edges where predators could in theory be in hiding and this would um, make that area less safe for them. Or even in a large grassy area, ensuring that there are branches over the grass so that the geese aren't able to have nice takeoff, uh, um, clear takeoff areas for them. They need about 30 meters of clear area to land and take off. Yeah, I think we're showing one of those methods as well, is just having these dogs run through the park so it feels a little less safe for them to, to nest and to stay put. It's fascinating to see how different cities are coming up to deal with uh, what has become a big and sometimes poopy problem. Jennifer Ray Pierce, yes. thanks so much. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.